Hello student. So in uh, previous video we have discussed the register stack. Now in this video we will try to uh, discuss or we will try to understand what is memory stack and how it is implemented. Yes. So as we have discussed previously in each stack there will be uh, the reoperation, push, pop and pip. So here we will not focus on pip but we will discuss push and pop so let me write down the code for uh, push so for push sp equals to sp minus 1 stack pointer minus 1 means stack pointer will be decremented and m of sp on that location value of data register will be stored Similarly for pop, okay, uh, inverse of S, uh, this increment, sorry decrement, so sp is equals to sp plus 1, here stack pointer will be incremented and uh, before decrementing it, uh, we will retrieve the value of uh, stack pointer into the data register, okay, so if we uh, rewrite entire operation of pop, okay, then it will look like uh, dr is equals to m of sp and then sp equals to sp plus 1 now um, you you may have a question that why uh, decrement in push operation and increment in pop operation now dear student just try to remember that this is the memory stack okay so this is not a uh, register stack this will be implemented inside the ram okay so uh, it will be implemented downward okay so what is the starting address uh, let's say start this is the uh, let us assume that this is entire process let's say whatever you are learning in operating system this is process p1 let's say and it is having various components like program data stack then queue heap if that process is using then all the structure will be into a specific uh, region of memory so each process will be given some starting address and some ending address for example here the starting address is 1000 and the ending address is 4001 uh, this portion means 1000 to uh, 2000 will store all the instruction of process means uh, all the coding part or instruction part will be stored into this part this will be pointed by program counter current execution will be managed by program counter all the data part it will be stored in range of 2001 to 3000 so all the variables whatever you are using those will be used into this portion and let us assume that from 3000 to 4001 uh, so uh, 3001 to 4001 we are having a, a stack pointer a stack here uh, the base address of the stack is 4001 okay and uh, top address means ending address is 3001 okay so initially stack pointer will pointing at the uh, base address which is 4001 and uh, every time we will uh, add a new element okay so it will be decremented okay so it will grow uh, upward okay but if you uh, arrange this uh, memory map into descending uh, order of addresses then this stack will grow downward so in that case that uh, register stack will grow upward okay so register stack will grow upward and memory stack will grow downward but here we have written address in such a way that here also it will look like it will it is growing downward so it will uh, store element uh, into the stack uh, so how push operation will be performed 4001 will be de uh, decremented so the uh, element will be stored on uh, 3999 okay then uh, again it will be decremented 3998 so similarly it will go to 3001 now every time whenever uh, any process will start to uh, try to add the data okay operation uh, operating system will uh, try to check the boundary value 
okay so if uh, stack pointer is at the boundary value then it will result into stack overflow okay similarly how bob operation will be performed let's say currently it is uh, stored into the uh, currently at the top of the stack is at address 3001 so it will be incremented so that element will be popped into dr then again it will it will point to the 3002 then again pop operation so element will be removed it will be stored into dr then uh, again it will be uh, incremented so 3003 3004 likewise 3998 3999 and at 4000 it will be uh, zero okay so uh, base address for this is 4000 and last element that can be stored out it will be on 4000 so this is how a memory stack will be implemented okay so in case of memory stack uh, uh, underflow and overflow means this, this will result into overflow and this will result into underflow so uh, underflow and overflow it must be checked by operating system okay now what is the advantage of memory stack over the register stack here uh, the size of stack can be uh, varied while in case of uh, register stack size of stack was fixed so it we cannot store more element uh, more than 63 element okay while in case of uh, memory stack uh, we can uh, increase this size uh, dynamically or runtime so uh, that will be the advantage and uh, what will be the downside here we do not have any flag mechanism so everything must be done by the uh, you can say so operating system or software so overflow underflow all these things stack pointer here uh, it will be easy to retrieve the element from the stack pointer why because uh, whatever data is stored into stack whatever address is stored into stack pointer okay so uh, using direct addressing mode uh, we can directly access that memory location while in case of uh, register stack we have to uh, go with the individual element one by one likewise so uh, this is the stack organization uh, and uh, here we have discussed memory stack now we will try to uh, discuss some uh, applications of stack so uh, let us start the discussion very popular and very common application of stack is uh, you can say infix to postfix or prefix or we can say reverse polish notation uh, another application of stack is uh, undo and redo whatever you people are doing undo and redo so uh, we will have two stack one will be for undo and another for redo so whenever you will uh, perform anything and if you don't want to do it so whatever you will do what you will do you will press ctrl z so this top item will be shifted to redo stack okay but again if you want to do that same thing then what you will do you will press ctrl y so this item will be implemented as well as it will be again uh, shifted to the undo stack so undo redo it will also utilize the uh, stack then uh, in process uh, whenever you are using recursive function call uh, so at that time every time you will call a new function that then the current status or uh, current uh, or cpu register status will be stored into the uh, stack and once the last execution is over every element will be removed from the stack one by one so there are various applications of stack uh, so let us just try to uh, uh, focus on infix to postfix let's have an example let's say uh, we are having an uh, expression a plus b uh, plus let's say uh, multiplication into c into d plus e plus f okay so if we try to evaluate this and then we are having a long way and proper method that is uh, uh, that you people have studied in data structure so we will not go with that method but uh, i will try to uh, resolve it by uh, simple method so first we will try to resolve all the bracket uh, then uh, we will uh, open the bracket and then ac accordingly it will be utilized now what is the advantage of uh, using uh, this method for expression evaluation means why we should convert this into the uh, 
infects uh, why we uh, why we should convert the infix expression into the post uh, post expression so if that conversion is not done then uh, uh, we require multiple cpu to evaluate the expression or partially we have to evaluate expression then it will be dependent on the inner brackets and then again it will it may be dependent on inner bracket for example here this multiplication cannot be done why because it depend it is dependent on this bracket then this multiplication also cannot be done why because it is dependent on this bracket so it will be very uh, cumbersome and te tedious job so what uh, we should do we should convert this infix into postfix or uh, prefix whatever you wish so uh, what is the advantage of it so whenever post uh, this uh, expression will be converted into reverse polish notation uh, all the brackets will be eliminated and the expression will be converted in such a way that it can be uh, evaluated linearly so uh, let me try to convert this into uh, reverse polish notation so for example if we uh, discuss about this bracket then it will be a b plus then star then c star b e plus then plus f okay so that is the uh, we cannot uh, replace this so what we will do a b plus then entire bracket here c into d e plus plus f multiplication will be here and then again a b plus so we, there is no need of this bracket so multiplication and this entire value will be treated, treated as a one variable then uh, c in bracket c d e plus star so this will work as a one term and plus f star clear so then it will be a b plus this inner expression will be c d e plus star f plus then bracket so there is no further uh, expression to evaluate so a b plus c d e plus star f plus star clear so a b plus uh, then c d e plus then star then e f so this is how it will be evaluated so if we try to evaluate this as a uh, this using uh, stack okay then let's take value of a as 1 b as 2 c as 1 d as 2 e as 3 f as 4 so we will have a stack okay initially one will be pushed then two will be pushed then addition so one plus two three will be there then c means one will be added then d two will be added e three will be added then plus okay so 3 plus 2 5 so current value of stack is 5 1 and 3 now done with the plus multiplication so 5 and 1 5 so current value of stack will be 3 and 5 okay then f what is value of f 4 then plus so 5 plus 4 9 and 3 then last multiplication so 9 into 3 27 and 27 will be popped so it will be answered okay so if we try to put this into expression 1 2 uh, 1 2 uh, 3 and 4 so 2 plus 3 5 5 into 1 5 then 5 plus 4 uh, 9 okay and 1 1 plus 2 3 so 3 into 9 27 so this is how we are getting 27 answer mm, if we uh, have another expression let's say uh, 3 into 4 uh, plus 
5 into 6 then uh, this will be 3 4 plus then plus 5 6 multiplication then 3 4 multiplication 5 6 multiplication and then plus okay so if we try to evaluate this using stack then let me draw the stack so you can have idea yes first three will be added then four will be added again multiplication so three and four three into four twelve will be there then uh, next is five next is six so multiplication so multiplication of top two elements so six into five thirty 12 will be as it is and last addition so 30 plus 12 42 so 42 will be answer okay so this is how uh, expression can be evaluated using stack so in this tutorial or in this video we will keep up to this in next tutorial we will start our discussion with the instruction format thank you